Hello, Kula here. For this video, I have for you guys my June 2013 Julep Destination Mystery Box. Uh, th for this month's mystery box, Julep kind of did something a little different. They actually had three different themed mystery boxes you could choose from, and they were based on three different places. Um, the first one, the one I got, is Laguna Beach. Uh, then they had Miami, and then they had the Hamptons. Uh, I debated a long time between getting Laguna Beach or getting a Miami box. Um, one thing I really wanted to avoid was a highlighter, a bright neon polish, since those kind of polishes, polishes I tend to not like. Um, so they had descriptive words for each city. Uh, Laguna Beach was described as trendy, vibrant, and fun. Miami was glitzy, bold, and energetic, and the Hamptons was described as classy, preppy, and glam. Um, I figured the Hamptons isn't kind of my style, classic, preppy, not so much me. Uh, with glitzy, bold, energetic, I kind of felt like that'd be more like glitter polishes, which I do really love, but energetic and bold kind of really sounded more like it'd be more garish colors. And then Laguna Beach, like, trendy, vibrant, fun. That kind of sounded more of, like, on-the-pulse kind of colors, just more, like, an eclectic mix, more exciting, not necessarily, like, going to be bright in your face. So I went with Laguna Beach. Um, I ended up getting the Laguna Beach Mystery Box version 6, according to my packing slip. Um, one thing that you could do is you could purchase like one box for each city and then you would get different polishes and products in each box. Um, but if you bought like two Laguna Beach boxes then like you had a chance of getting the same product. Um, but like I said, I just got Laguna. Um, I was thinking about getting Miami as well. But I kind of held back this month on mystery boxes especially just because I spent so much in the secret shop and all that and I kind of wanted to rein in my spending a little. Um, Alright, so I got the Laguna Beach Mystery Box right here. So we'll open it up for you. It comes with the Aren't Surprises Fun card. I do also want to apologize if my voice sounds kind of weird or kind of weak. Um, I'm fighting off a summer cold. Like We get our first nice sunny weather and somehow I end up with a cold. So that's always awesome. So this is the regular surprise card that comes with most mystery boxes. So here's the box here. Everything packaged very nicely. Um, the nail polishes did come wrapped in bubble wrap. I just took it off because I wanted to swatch them. Um, I'm a little disappointed with this box um, compared to some of my other boxes. This feels like there's less in it. Um, my other boxes have you know either been four polishes, a product, and three polishes, two products, and while this technically is three polishes and two products, one of the products to me doesn't feel like its value should count towards the value of the box. Um, I've received it as like one of the freebie things they throw into the boxes before, um, and this one didn't really have any freebies in it, which I kind of felt a little disappointed about. I, I guess maybe I just got too used to them, but, you know, something even as simple as, like, the candy always really added something to the box for me, and to not even get, like, a free sample. No, I take that back. I did get a sample of the hand cream, but I gave that away to someone. So I did get a free sample in it, um, but it's just, I don't know, it just feels like less value than my other boxes. Um, so we'll start with the polishes here, and they came in this nice satchel. I I was a little disappointed in the polishes. Um, I ended up getting a double of a color I already have, as well as basically like the exact color I didn't want to get. Um, but we'll start with the double here. This is Simone, and I already have this color. Now this color is gorgeous. I love this color. I was super excited the first time I got this color. Um, so, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I got it again. I'm probably going to give this one away just because I don't think I'm going to be able to go through the entire bottle of it. Um, but they describe Simone as a soft pastel lilac opalescent shimmer. And it is out of stock right now on their website. But it, it is a beautiful color. It's a beautiful lilac. I love the, the opalescent shimmery kind of finishes. So it is gorgeous, uh, but unfortunately it's a double for me. 
And then the next color I got, uh, it's called Natalie. Here's Natalie. Now when I think of like trendy, vibrant, and fun, this color is definitely a color I would describe as that. Like this is a really pretty color. Like it's, it's very bright without being like neon, without being like a highlightery color. It's, it's, this is a gorgeous color and I'm very glad I got this color. Uh, it is one of Julep's older polishes. As you can see there is no swatch me sticker. And then the bottom is a little bit different. It just says the name and number, whereas on like the newer ones, it says the name, the number, and then it has um, what collection it's from, and then like 2013 on it. So this is Natalie, very beautiful, uh, described as a chic retro honeysuckle pink cream. And this is also out of stock online. So very happy to get this. Uh, unfortunately, the third color I got, Nikki, is everything I didn't want to get in a nail polish. This is Nikki. So as you can see, Nikki is highlighter, bright, neon, garish, yellow, pretty much like like an, a nail polish I absolutely would not buy ever. Like I, when I first saw this, like I was really disappointed. I was like, I, I just feel like I have no use for this polish. But I swatched it. I I sat around and I thought about it, and I'm actually more open to this color now. Uh, online, they describe it as an electric highlighter neon yellow cream. So as I said, basically like everything I didn't want in a polish. But thinking about it, like especially for summer, this is would be a great accent color. I believe when this was released, the the box it came with, it was like a neon and neutral pairing, if I remember correctly. Um, but like pairing it even with Natalie here, like that would be really cool. Like it. it there's things I can think of to do with it. While I might not paint my nail just this color, like this would be a great color to use for accents. Uh, so I did swatch Nikki and Natalie. So as you can see, there's Nikki, and that's Natalie. So they do complement each other really well, I think. I mean, Nikki is beautiful in its own way. It's definitely more greenish. I wouldn't call it like a yellow. It is like green hued to me. It's kind of a very yellow chartreuse. And then one thing I noticed, if you can see, it's right next to um, Lauren. These bright colors, they tend to be more matte when they dry than like the other colors. Like this is Bess, you know, and stuff from the, uh, the Nautical collection. And these are creams and they dried very glossy. You know, this is a cream and it dried glossy, but this and this, they didn't. And I've noticed that too with Avery, my other really bright cream color. That one dried kind of matte as well, so I'm not sure if that's something to do with the pigments they used in that type of polish to make them that bright or what, but that's just kind of a little quirk I've noticed. Um, and then for my two products, the one product that I was kind of like iffy about with it qualifying towards the price of my box, uh, it's the Strawberry Mint Lip Balm. Now, I didn't see this on the website anymore, so I'm not sure if this is a product they still sell individually or if it's just one they put in boxes now. Um, but I do love this balm. Like I said, I got this before in another box. I, it was one of my first boxes, and it's a, it's a really great balm. Like, it doesn't irritate my lips. I have really sensitive skin around my mouth, and th it never irritated me. Um, the smell's great. Like, you don't really smell the mint, but you can definitely smell the strawberry. And it, it, it's a great lip balm, but... <sighs> For it to count for like six dollars of value towards the value of my box, I'm just not sure like that's that I would agree with that. But nevertheless, like it is a great product, and nothing against this product. It's just counting towards the seventy dollar box value. Uh, and then finally, I got the hand and cuticle stick here. Um, one thing that initially, when I first opened it, see it looks like a giant glue stick that really bugged me was that this top part here was covered in like these hard little like bumps like at first I was really grossed out I was like what if it's like mold or something um but I thought about it and since this has shea butter and stuff in it I'm thinking what happened is there was a change in temperature during shipping or something and some of like the fats and the oils got pulled out and they hardened and things like that because I know that happens with stuff like chocolate um if chocolate's not tempered well or if it goes through like a you know temperature change or humidity change 
it can get white stuff on the outside called like it when it blooms and that's just the cocoa butter kind of leaching out and it doesn't really affect the chocolate you know beyond appearance and I don't think it affected this beyond appearance um I did use this it it's kind of an interesting concept like it's like a giant glue stick like I said and it, it, it does make my hands very soft like I used just I used this once and then the next day like my hands were still super soft even though I hadn't used any other lotion so it is a really nice product um you know even if it did arrive kind of gross my one thing about it is it smell like it doesn't smell bad it just it smells exactly like this homemade bubble solution my grandma used to make when I was a lot younger um so like we would blow bubbles and stuff in the backyard and she would have a whole bunch of different types of wands and everything and she'd make her own bubble solution we'd store it in like these giant containers and that is exactly what it smells like so it's kind of like almost like dish soap but not really like it's like a combination of like dish soap and like something else but it smells exactly like the bubble mix my grandma used to make and so like every time I smell it I'm reminded of that so that's just kind of my thing I don't think a lot of other people are gonna get like blowing bubbles with grandma scent from this so it's not a bad scent it's just to me it reminds me of just yeah this homemade bubble solution my grandma would make um, overall, like, not, not a bad box. Like, I'm not, you know, upset. I'm not, like, super disappointed at anything in this box. Um, I, you know, I was even surprised. Like, I got a, I got a nail polish color that I would never, ever buy for myself. But, you know, I can definitely see myself using, which is great. Um, but compared to the other boxes I've gotten, this is probably the one that I've liked the least. Just because I've, I did get the double polish color. Um, I did get the color, like, I didn't. I didn't want, I wasn't really like hoping to get. Um, and then admittedly, like if I had paid actual like full price for the hand in cuticle stick, if it had arrived in the condition that it did, I would be more inclined to contact customer service about it and maybe ask for like a replacement or something. But considering how this was a mystery box and how, you know, little I actually paid for everything in here. So these are only $25 and since I'm a maven, free shipping. So, I mean, you know, $25 to get a, like $70 worth of product. Um, and I did do the math. Retail, this is $70 pretty much exactly. Um, with a Maven discount, all these products add up to about $55. But it's still, you know, half the price for, for good products, too. Like I said, like, there's nothing wrong with anything in here. You know, it's just not maybe what I was hoping for. Um, but, you know... I love julep, I love mysteries, that's kind of why you play the game is sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. This is kind of more of a don't, but I still kind of did just because like, it's not like I can't use any of this. Um, but very happy overall. So thank you guys so much for watching.